I know Kung Fu. Yeah. I, I know Kung Fu. Oh, oh, e -O -O. Ah. What oh, the hell? Everybody. How y'all doing? Uh, it's David over at Digital's Mind. Uh, today we're going to just have a brief uh, look at what you're looking at right now, which is called uh, Wise Auto Shutdown. Now, this is a terrific uh, utility that you can run on your machine. Uh, it works on Windows XP. Uh, I should say, I'm sorry, it's, just, it's a Windows-based uh, product. Uh, you'll have to ask Barney about a Linux-based product for this. Uh, I know you can script one in Linux, but, you know, we're doing Windows. Uh, and you can also script this in Windows, too. I'm sorry. You can actually do that in Windows. But uh, this is actually much easier, much quicker, and you actually get more options, too. Uh, now, why do I like this particular program? Well, uh, I do my backups at night after my workday, and um, I use the Acronis uh, backup software. And one of the things that it does do is it allows you to check a box that says shut down after, uh, you know, the backup has been completed. The problem is, is that I do backups on multiple partitions, probably like you do. And um, you know, a C drive, a D drive, that kind of thing. Now, one of the things uh, that the program does maybe half of the time, I'm speaking of the Acronis program here, is that I can select it and sometimes it will work and sometimes it will not. So I don't want my PC running all night long because I usually close the door to my office and I walk in in the morning and it's, you know, 80 degrees. So um, I, I have this program actually set up to run. It runs in the taskbar, runs as a service, which you would have to have to execute it under Windows. And it's basically just a very simple tool that allows you to either shut down or restart or log off or hibernate or power off or sleep or whatever you want the PC to do, um, which you can actually see right over here. Now, what you do is, is um, if you want to go in there and actually set it up, yeah, I would cancel the current task that I have running. So I'll say yes. And then it opens up um, uh, all of the options to me. Now, when you first install it, y you'll have the screen as you see it right now. Uh, I have mine install or have mine to shut down around 12 o'clock at night. Uh, the reason is, is because uh, while I use a differential backup, which means that it runs a like kind of like a master uh, backup, which is very large and can take a very long time, uh, especially on my data drives, um, the differential can be quite short. However, as a Cronus runs, as that original becomes out of date, it deletes it, makes a brand new one, and it starts the differentials again. Now, I don't want it to run all night long, or I don't want it, you know my PC to run after midnight. And by the time I start my backups, which are around six or seven o'clock at night, but it's usually done by at the latest eleven o'clock. So I have mine set to shut down at twelve o'clock uh, midnight. And it, it, it's done it every single time. So I can actually walk into my office before I go to bed. I can see, hey, look, this is, you know, the backups are still running. Uh, and I kind of look at the time, too, because sometimes uh, there was, I think, one time I had to extend it to, like, 1 o'clock. Uh, it's very simple to do. I just showed you how to do it. You click on the cancel task, set it to 1, say start task, and it runs in the task bar, and it will then shut down at 1 o'clock at night. You can have it shut down at a specific, uh, you know, I have mine daily, but you can have it shut down at a specific time. Uh, for instance, if you're doing a lot of video rendering, you say, hey, I want to shut down at 3 o'clock on this date because this is when you normally run your batch jobs or whatever. You can do that too. Or you can actually say, uh, from now, shut down in one hour uh, or two hours or you know, 10 minutes or, or whatever. So if you're heading out the door, run this real quick, quick say, hey, look, you know, I got some processes running or I'm rendering something, I'm making a movie or whatever, shut down in an hour and it will do it. So I just wanted to show this to you. It's free of charge. There's no charge to it. And it's a slick little interface. It's really, as you can see, nicely well done. And it's absolutely free. Uh, it's called Wise Auto Shutdown, and I think you should check it out. Okay, later. Podcast Ninjas. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go into Best Buy and see 75% off on a game that's $50. And that's all you leave me for. Why do you buy crap?